What is going on everyone? My name is Will from Ghost Hack and today I'm going to teach you how to use Patcher from FL Studio. <laughs> Now, if you don't really know much about Patcher, you don't really know what it's for or how to use it, then I really encourage you to watch this video because a lot of young producers and maybe advanced producers kind of push Patcher aside. They're not really sure what it does. They're not really sure of its uses. It seems kind of useless, but this is one of the most useful plugins in FL Studio for me personally. And if you are someone who has used Ableton and has complained about how FL Studio kind of, you know, organizes its effects, this plugin should fix all of that for you. So there are two ways you can use it. You can put it in as an instrument and actually load an instrument in Patcher, or you can use it as an effect chain. And actually everything you can do in the effect chain, you can also do in the instrument part. So I'm just going to start right here. Let's uh, replace this sampler with a Patcher. And here we are now right up, you know, up, right off the bat, we have nothing. If we play something, we get absolutely no sound. We need to load a plugin in here. So let's uh, right click add plugin and let's add, you can see we have all the effects and, um, uh, instrument plugins. So let's load a Harmer. Where's Harmer? Here it is. And now we have a Harmer. Let's load in uh, not this preset. Let's take uh, default preset. So here we are with the default preset. Let's make it a little less harsh. Let's just add some unison for the sake of the tutorial. All right, so now we have a little super saw here. And you can see it is running through Harmer and going out the master. Oh no, it's routed into one. We'll use that later. But uh, now you can see, you know, what do we do here? Now we can add effects like we would in here, but all we have to do is right click, add plugin. Let's say I want to add in, uh, let's say an EQ on this. There, I have this EQ that it popped up right here. And now we just have to connect them. You can see the yellow, uh, the yellow string is effects afterward and the blue string is uh, instrument. So now we're playing Harmer and is going right into the EQ. And we can EQ this however we wish. Let's say for some reason I wanted to do something like this. I could very, very easily. And after that, let's say I wanted to add a reverb. It is only too simple. And at this point, I don't really think I have to explain anything as far as adding effects. I'm pretty sure you understand how it works from here. But the great thing about the way Patcher works is we can do some layering. Let's say I wanted instead of the uh, EQ sound going into the reverb and I'm getting reverb from the EQ sound. Let's say I want the reverb from the original sound, but I want the main body of the sound to be EQ'd. What I can do here is I can just unhook all of this and I can stack these right here and I can route them up. So now both signals are now coming out. Then all I have to do here is turn down the dry of the reverb. So we only have the wet of the reverb. Yeah, we can uh, right click here to mute this one. And now that one's muted and we have only the reverb coming through. And you can hear there, that is the main non-EQ'd sound running through the reverb. And now we can take the dry sound out of this EQ. Now the reverb has those uh, frequencies in this region that sound very, very rich. So that's just one example of how you can do this. And you can do this with any kind of plugins, you know, EQing, compression, you know, reverb delay, and any, any kind of effect you want, you can add in any order. And you could even do this again. Let's say I wanted to add an EQ here to EQ the reverb. We can take out, you know, all the low end, you know, something basic like this, maybe raise the high end. That'd be very, very simple. And maybe add, if you wanted to do something like distortion, you could just open up a wave shaper and then add this into the route, you know, just add this as its own little layer and then add a bit of distortion. You can custom make your effect chain in any way you can possibly imagine. Now, after we delete these plugins, I can show you something very, very interesting. I'm actually going to delete this and then connect this here. This does not just allow you to add any kind of effects you want in any order. This also allows you to add multiple instruments. Let's say I made a bass sound in here. Let me go ahead and just take one of my bass sounds. Here, here's a good sound. And then it has a very strong sub. As you can see, what we're going to do is we can just EQ that out. So let me just cut the sub real quick. There we go, sub is completely cut, and now I want to add an external sub with, let's say, a citrus. But I don't have to make a whole other instrument. All I would have to do is open up a citrus in here. Let's see where citrus is. Here we are, and I can make my own sub. So here I have my sub patch, and I have muted this, 
so we're not getting anything from the harmer even though it's still playing i have muted it right here and now we can layer our sub with our sound and it sounds beautiful and we can use this right here this little control as a volume to mute it you just right click but we to you can click and like drag this around as a volume And the great thing about this is now that you have the two instruments going, you not only have like a good layer and you can layer all kinds of sounds, but any note you play is going to follow along. You won't have to, you know, copy and paste any patterns. It'll all just be right there in a singular MIDI track. That being said, let's say you already made a sound and you already did a bunch of post-processing on uh, this effect chain right here. Let's say we have this sound. And we already added, I don't know, let's just add a couple things. EQ, distortion, let's lower this bass. Let's say we already have that happening and we don't want to translate all of that into a whole new patcher now that we have our sound. All you have to do is open up a patcher in the effects section. Here we are with a patcher. Now the only thing that is different about this patcher is that you cannot add instruments. You can see it's no longer blue. It's, you know, yellow all the way. So we can add any kind of effects we want now and you can just make as big a layer as we want. There is another thing though that I would like to point out. Let's say I have uh, this high pass filter. That actually sounds really cool. But let's say I have that uh, high pass filter and I want to automate this. If you right click it, you, you know, there's no automation, like you cannot uh, automate. What you have to do is you have to click activate. And after you hit activate, now you can say create automation clip. But once we hit activate, look what popped up here, this little red thing. And you can see we can drag this little red, this little red dot around. And what this is for is to connect to the surface. Now we're on the map right now, which is showing all the plugins. But if we go to the surface, here, this is a completely different place. And this is where you can add things like, let's hit plus, you can add a bevel, a button, checkbox, label, knob, slider, and X, Y. These are, you know, controllers you can use. Let's say I just want to go basic. Um, let's just go with knob. Let's make the knob nice and big. We could even change the style and colors if we want. Um, green glass, that sounds kind of cool. Oh, that looks cool. And we, yeah, we could just rename it, do all kinds of, all kinds of fun stuff to customize. Then we just hit this tool button and we are done. We have our little knob. And right now this knob does nothing because there's nothing connected to it. Now if we go to map, now that we add this knob, look what popped up. On the surface right here, we have another little red dot. So what we have to do, we have to connect these red dots. We have to connect the active little controller there to the controller on the surface. And now when we move this knob, we can hear what it does. But here's the fun part. Let's say I have this control right here, this kind of up and down, yeah, this right here. I want it to follow the motion of that knob. When the high pass filter is down here, I want this to be way down muffling the high end. And when I bring it up to around halfway, which is where it sounds good, I want it to come back up here. So all I have to do is activate it. And now you can see there's a third little dot and I can connect it to the exact same knob. If we made another knob, there'd be a second red dot right here. But if we connect it to the exact same knob, it is going to do the same thing. And now we can, let's say, activate this right here. And now we can create automation clip and do all of the fun stuff. So this is a really quick way to do, you know, a bunch of automation inside of uh, Patcher. If there's a bunch of stuff you want to control with one automation, it's very, very easy to do it with this service. You can just connect it to one knob or slider or X, Y or whatever control you want to use here. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more useful, you can even open up Patcher inside of patcher you see i just opened up the patcher plugin we can make a little uh connection here and i can open up uh any uh one of my presets i'll just take uh let's see simple fat rack yeah here's my simple fat rack it's gonna be very loud wow that is very loud but uh that's it's just so easy to do that you can open up patcher inside of patcher if you have a really fun preset that you like so that is just a simple look at patcher and the main features that it can do and let me tell you you if you want to you can get really crazy with the kind of stuff that you can do in here like, let's pull up one of these really crazy uh 
crazy ones. Like this is a huge one that image line made. They even have like a bit of documentation here. It's supposed to simulate like an amp cabinet, but there's so many controls. Like look at the surface. It is incredible. You can get crazy with the amount of stuff that you put in here, but you don't need to. You do not need to at all. This can be the simplest thing in the world or the most complicated thing in the world. It depends on how much you want to go into it. And I also personally think it just looks beautiful with all these things going around. It just looks, it's so cool. So there you go. That is my short overview of the Patcher plugin and all of its basic functionalities. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to let us know by leaving a like, as well as subscribing for more tutorials in the future. I'm Will from Ghost Hack, and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.